since he was a little baby. He loved to punch. When I get in the ring, I see a guy in front of me, I just keep going. I don't stop. Even if it hurts, I don't stop. Rashad is ranked number one in boxing and number one in the world in king boxing. He's undefeated in MMA. He's undefeated in Muay Thai. He has like 22 championship belts. Right now, I'm 5'2 and 103 pounds. The kid's only 13 years old, and he's so good that sometimes it's very hard to get him a fight. Nobody really wants to fight him. Rashad trains like five days a week, two and a half hours a day. He goes to school, comes home, does his homework, eat, then we head out to the boxing gym. I tell my kids, this is a very physical, hard sport. You gotta train your body, so when you get hit, it won't hurt as much. I've known Rashad two years, but he's been doing kickboxing and just before that. Since he was a little baby, he loved to punch. At age five, Rashad started competing with jiu-jitsu and submission grappling, and he basically won every competition he competed in. As he got a little bit older, the kickboxing matches started coming in, and MMA fights started coming in. He liked the most MMA combination of all mixed martial arts, but in New York it's not allowed for kids, even for adults. So we had to travel all over the country to find him fights. It's easier to find boxing in New York, so if you cannot get any other fights, we started doing boxing. Now he's a four years in a row world kickboxing champion. He's a junior Olympic boxing champion. He's a North American submission grappling champion and grapple square jiu-jitsu champion. He's undefeated in MMA. He's undefeated in Muay Thai. He's ranked number one in the world in kickboxing. And he's ranked number one in boxing in the United States. He's 100 pounds division. What makes Rashad special, he's willing to mix it up. He don't run, he wants to fight and that, that's what makes him special. He stays there, he's not afraid to get hit. I can fight different ways. If they can brawl, I'll brawl with them. If they'll try to fight technical, I'll fight technical back. They call me Albanian Bear. <laughs> His sparring partner, which is uh, Harley Madero, he's also a Silver Glove National Champion, so it'll be a good sparring. He'll be sparring maybe six, seven rounds with him. Amazing fighter. Really, really talented. Me and him both won the Silver Gloves this year. Hopefully we're gonna go back this year and win it again. My father was a boxer, and he taught boxing to me. I have a son, I teach it to my son. But it's a lot of frustration coaching your own kid. You expect way more than any other kid. My father teaches me like how to punch, what to do in that situation. Also, he cares about me. He's always taking care of me, you know? Rashad does get a little nervous before a fight, but it's not because he knows he's gonna lose or he knows he's gonna do bad. He don't wanna look bad in front of his dad. When I see my father and he goes, stop, you're getting hit too much, pick your hands up. That's the kind of things that I get kind of intimidated, like scared of, because I want to prove to my father that I'm, I'm good enough to box. Every time he goes to a fight, to a ring, I worry he's gonna get hurt. And also, I'm, I'm, I don't want anybody else to get hurt, you know? Because they're kids. It is a hard sport, but it's been there since the beginning of time. Any contact sport, you get injuries. Accidents happen. I don't think of like having like brain trauma if you keep getting hit in the head. What I need to do is keep my hands up so I don't have to worry about that happening. If I don't keep my hands up, it's my problem. Nobody wants to see his kid get hit. So I try to make him not to be an easy target. If I see that my son is getting hit hard or he's losing the fight badly, I'm stopping the fight. There's no need to get to a point that he gets hurt. From a boxing gym from Flatbush, we're going to a kickboxing gym, which is in Staten Island, to continue our training. So that's a long hours, and that's five days a week, actually. If I keep working hard, you know, in my heart, in my, in my head, I know that I can end up being on top. Everybody has his dreams. You want to be the best, you got to put up your time.
Akmal, who teaches kickboxing. He's from Uzbekistan and he's a two-time world champion in kickboxing. In the beginning, he was doing it old school and he was putting these kids through torture. But they told him in America it's called child abuse. So he had to switch the training a little bit. It became way softer. In the beginning it was hard and that's what I liked. And that's why I enrolled Rashad in there. I have to train, I have to train hard every single day. I spent mostly all my life trying to be on top. If I keep going with that, I can end up getting famous off of what I want to do most, and that's boxing and MMA. Rashad can't wait until he becomes 15, 16, so he can advance to that Olympic trials and make it to the USA team. If you are an amateur fighter, Olympics is the top championship. After that, it's the pros. I want to become a fighter, you know, a pro boxer or a pro MMA fighter. Maybe both, but you always have to stay focused. I'm hoping to be the best he can be. It doesn't matter where. Boxing, MMA, kickboxing, or whatever he decides to do. Good kid. Very good boxer, very good kickboxer. And I believe he will be a great, great professional fighter. As a fighter, you want to be a champion. And Rashad was a fighter from the beginning. I didn't make him a fighter. He was born a fighter. Subscribe to Thinker, or I'll knock you out. First, you stay in a stance and pick your heel up and put your toes and your ball of your foot down. When you kick, kick with your leg up and straight down. <laughs>